What is going on guys? Doing a little first impression review of the Rawhide single wheel utility bed. I think this is, uh, I don't know what the model is, but it's the flat bed that has, uh, it's got boxes on it. One box there, long box up here, and then a box right up here. Um, I have this paired to my 2023 power stroke high output 250. So let's get into it. So I've had this bed for a couple of days now. Um, the guy in Jake's Automotive in Amarillo, Texas installed it. Pretty good deal. So the bed was like seven seven thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars, and it was eight fifty to install it, which was probably the cheapest around. Um, these these handles are kind of hard to get into, but I don't know if that's good or bad. This box is fairly shallow. Um, I looked at some North Star ones; they looked a little bigger, but I don't know if they're any any more width i think you'd have to have a dually to get any more width on them so i'm not 100 percent sure on that i don't really like how it like kind of have to push through the weather stripping there's like a lot of little details on this bed that are just kind of weird um the top box opens fairly easy as it makes it makes it hard for me to open it all gas shocks everywhere this is a really nice box i enjoy this i mean this i like how it's slanted too because I live in Colorado, so it's like we get a lot of snow and a lot of water and stuff. So this is this is better for me, I think. Um, it's got uh, these cool little lights right here, too. Vision. I mean, I think that's plastic. They're pretty cheap lights, honestly. I don't know if that's like a good, uh, good lighting company. I've never heard of them. It comes with one up there, one right here. LEDs, it looks great at night. Like it's a it's a bitch in bed. The only thing I wish they would have done better, like the North Star beds, they do a single piece. So you don't see that slit down the side, like where they stitch welded in. But it does look pretty good. I think uh if you get it wrapped or something, like it, it kind of gives it like a body line almost too. So I mean it's it's up like a dealer's choice kind of thing, you know. That box is actually bigger than the North Star box from what I was looking at when I was there. And the only reason I didn't go to the North Star box, my buddy, see, see how much easy that one is to open? Maybe I need to adjust that. Maybe I can do some adjustments to get these handles a little easier to turn and twist. But um, the North Star bed, my buddy said he had a lot of problems with the paint. He said the handles broke on them. So I kind of want to do something different. Um, let's see. We got four tie downs in here. We've got gooseneck hookup in here comes does it come with the trailer brake like the north star does i don't know if a cm comes with that either but the, i had them throw that in there for me that light's pretty bitching so those come all standard with this so and i love this headache rack the headache rack is the best looking headache rack the tube just does not do it for me I'm not a fan um another complaint i guess i should say Right here, they had to drill all this out to get my spare tire in. So I'm going to have to fix that. That looks like shit. So this is a cool box. I don't know how to open it. I think it's like something. And then I don't remember. But this opens up and you can get long tool storage in there. Maybe some mats or something. But I mean, the bed looks sick on the Ford. Like it looks great. This truck is a monster. I love it. It's uh, it's just a great truck. It's a Laramie, or not Laramie, Lariat, sorry. Let's see if I can get a larger pan of it. Bitchin' truck. The bed is, the, so the another complaint I have with the bed is the noise it makes. I don't know if it's the headache rack or what it's doing. But, or the light. So I'm gonna like mess with the light and see if I can get take the light off and maybe, it'll, cause it makes like this whistling noise. And I think it's from, like when you go over 60, truck's locked, so. If I can get up there. So those little air pockets in the light, I think are making the noise. So I might tape those up or do something. See if that'll uh, make a change in the noise effect. But other than that, like th those are a few little things and things I do like. Um, just the layout it's a nice box the price is right 
the I'm not a huge fan of the I wish they would do something better with the with the fuel pump stuff. Or, I mean the, the the fuel filler. Make it a bigger bigger hole. I don't know why they have to make it so small. Um what else? Tailgate actually works pretty good. They painted these so they're once you break them free, they're good to go. The step is bitching. I really like the step. Um, the overall look and profile of the bed looks great. So huge improvement from the stock bed. The stock bed has these stupid steps. I hate those things. They look like garbage. I have a 20, a 2020 Duramax with the steps and the steps look so much better. And I'm going to take the lights out of the factory one and put them in there. They didn't do that. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to cut out some um, spots like in here. And then right here, and then the factory power plug-in for the bed, I'm going to install on this side right here in this box. So I'm going to have to cut that out and install that, but shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. And I need to do the backup cameras. Um, I just saw the way they did that, and I just lit, lit for the spur tire, and I was like, don't worry about the backup cameras, I'll install that. So wasn't a huge fan of, I mean, they did a good install, but and it was fast, but still could have been slightly done better but there's the raw max single wheel bed the dually is the same thing just a little wider so i haven't seen a whole lot of information on these beds so i thought i'd throw something up on youtube and give you guys a, a good look around of what or walk around of what this thing looks like on a truck i'd say it looks pretty good let me know in the comments i'll do some more videos i'm also going to do a review of this truck so let you guys know how the new ford is thanks guys